The Berna Doodle and the Golden Doodle are both crossbreeds that are growing massively in popularity. Both breeds are friendly to humans, trainable and low shedding, but also have some unique differences. So how do you decide which breed is a better dog? In this video, you will learn everything about the differences of the Golden Doodle and Berna Doodle based on 8 topics, so you can find out which one better suits to you. Number 1. Origin A Golden Doodle is a mix between a purebred Poodle and a purebred Golden Retriever. The sturdy and muscular Golden Retriever is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. Golden Retrievers work as guide dogs, support animals and rescue dogs. They excel in their home as loyal and easy trained family pets. A Bernadoodle is a cross between a purebred Poodle and a purebred Bernese Mountain Dog. They are sometimes called a Bernese Poodle or a Bernese Mountain Poodle. They have worked as farmers and herders in Switzerland and have also been family companion dogs for hundreds of years. Often, the same working dogs were also family pets when their workday finished. Number 2. Personality Your Golden Doodle is sure to be a real joy in your home. He's a lively, healthy dog breed and when you treat him like a family member, a real deep bond can be developed. He loves to be included in everything going on in the household and doesn't like being left alone for a long time. He has wonderful characteristics from the Golden Retriever and the Poodle, as both these dog breeds are known for their friendly, patient, kind, amicable and intelligent personalities. The Bernadoodle is a very social dog that needs to be with people. If you don't have a lot of time for a dog, then this is also not the one for you. He's gentle, calm and affectionate. They need to be socialized early in life and they will be great with kids and other small animals. They tend to be very playful and the smaller versions have more energy, more stubbornness and more of the poodle divaness. Number 3. Appearance A golden doodle will be about 25 inches from the ground to their shoulder, which is 64 centimeters. These dogs usually weigh between 30 and 45 pounds, which is 14 to 20 kilograms. The size of the Golden Doodle can significantly vary depending on what size Poodle was used when breeding. Golden Doodles can have many different coat types. These can range from straight like a Golden Retriever to very curly like a Poodle. A Burner Doodle can also come in three different sizes depending on the size of the Poodle the Bernese Mountain Dog was bred with. They will be around 29 inches from the ground to their shoulder, which is 74 centimeters. Depending on their size, they can weigh between 15 to 90 pounds, which is 7 to 41 kilograms. Bernadoodles are usually black and white or tree colored brown, black and white. This is a very typical color of the Bernese Mountain Dog that is seen in the Bernadoodles. Number 4. Trainability Golden Doodles take well to training. They are obedient and smart as well as agile, so will enjoy agility courses. They respond well to reward-based training sessions and will gladly show off what they have learned in return for a treat. Bernadoodles are similar to Golden Doodles in that they are intelligent and smart. The Bernadoodle is a good watchdog and is better than a Golden Doodle when it comes to guarding the house against intruders. They are easy to train, although the male tends to be quite stubborn. The female are less stubborn, although they are more independent. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment Both the Bernadoodle and Golden Doodles need daily exercise. In fact, the breeds love to run, hike and swim. You should provide one good walk a day and then they won't mind just having some playtime in the house or garden to burn off their energy. You should plan on at least a half hour for a walk each day. Grooming requirements for these dogs will depend on the type of coat they have. If your dog has a straight haired coat, you need to brush them at least once a week. The non-shedding, hypoallergenic version needs more grooming requirements. Number 6. Best Home Both breeds of dogs can thrive in apartments. This only works when their daily exercise requirements are hit. These requirements are higher for larger size golden doodles or the very large burner doodles. Miniatures and toy sized golden doodles and burner doodles will be better in apartments. 
Poodles can be very energetic, which crossbreeds can inherit and is difficult to predict. A Bernie Doodle or Golden Doodle owner in an apartment could get caught off with a puppy with high energy. You also need to consider how frequently these dogs need to use the bathroom. Consider building a do-it-yourself apartment porch potty to make toilet training easier. Number 7. Health Both the Bernie Doodle and the Golden Doodle are healthy breeds overall. They do not have any life-threatening diseases that they have known for. As long as you purchase from a reputable breeder and give proper nutrition and exercise, your doodle will stay healthy and strong. There are a few minor things that these breeds have been known to have. Bernadoodles are known to have hip and elbow dysplasia as they age because of their large size. Golden doodles are prone to getting ear infections. These are caused by their love of water combined with floppy ears. As long as you keep them clean and dried, there should be no issues. Golden Doodles are also prone to tooth and gum disease. A standard Burner Doodle will have a lifespan of about 12 to 15 years. A Golden Doodle's lifespan is about 10 to 15 years. Both breeds come in mini and toy sizes that can have a lifespan of up to 18 years. With proper care, both the Burner Doodle and Golden Doodle have the same average lifespans. Number 8. Costs Both the Bernie Doodle and the Golden Doodle are considered a designer breed. With that comes with the responsibility of the buyer. You will want to be sure to buy your doodle with a reputable breeder or to adopt from a shelter. Bernie Doodles on average cost about $2000. They are harder to find and breeders are not as common as with the Golden Doodles. So the prices tend to be higher and you will have to travel farther to find one. Golden Doodles cost about $1000 depending on the location where you live. They are much easier to find and therefore you probably won't have to travel far to find a reputable breeder. What do you think? Which dog do you prefer? Let us know in the comments, I would like to know. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.